I need YouTubers that made out 18 k here and doing another video for you. I was going to go outside and do a video for you guys, but my laptop is running out of battery. So I have to put it in the stupid plug so it can stupidly be charged. Anyway, this video is on about the time of I think it's a lot of thought actually. The cars I even put in the thing, but these are the cars I like. And my opinion of what order they are in. So I'll show you them now. Number 10 is Worm Victory. Black Light 671, this is a shout out to you. You're going to hate me for this. I'm sorry. But I rate this car at number 10. You know why? You know why, guys? This card, when it's, it's, it's a level 7, and um, it has to be sacrificed two cards, that's two cards, and it goes face down. When it flips, it destroys all face up non reptile worm monsters. Uh, so, that, uh, so, uh, so your worm monsters will be safe, and this card gains 500 attack for each worm reptile monster in your graveyard. So if you use Future Fusion and try to use Worm Zero, um, so you get a 10, this card will be 5k, which is really good. And uh, also if your friend has all the face-up monsters, you can attack directly, if possible. Probably going to the game. Don't hate me, black guy. Uh, number 9 is X-Saber at 11. I like this card because I'm as an expert, uh, ex saber uh, fan myself, this card's really good uh, because you can attack directly and discard one man card, a uh, one card from your opponent's hand. Better choose you choose. Also, it's a 1600 attack tuner, which is really good. It's a big thing, right? Quiet for itself. Uh, number eight is Marshmallow. Uh, when it's hard to put face up, it takes 1,000 points of damage to your opponent and it can't be destroyed by a battle. Oh, do you No, it's not. Can't be destroyed by a battle, which makes it very hard to win. In those type of positions. In those type of uh, positions. No, not type of positions. Where? Number 7 is the Union Street Patrol. I like this card because it's been my favourite there. Uh, when this card's in the graveyard, you can remove it from face, especially a beam monster with 2,000 less attack. This card's normally used in fables as well as in Verities. In Verities, you get out Fable Morale and uh, Tribute again to stretch them to inverting monsters from your graveyard, as well as Fable Ravens, the Fable monsters, to get out and shoot into the front. Uh, number six is Chaos End Master. This is a nice secret rare card I like because most cards destroy them not by battle. You get to fetch summon a fire level five or higher monster with sixteen hundred attack or less of it. Yeah, sixteen hundred attack or less from your deck. Fetch summon it. Uh, people normally use Chaos uh, Pure Chaos uh, to special summon attack directly if they haven't got any other monsters. And then to go for level 8 and stuff. Number 5 is Gun Gear, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. This card I rate at number 5 because it was easy, it's out. A lot of people use it at my locals. Um, you can discard up to 2 cards from your hand and you destroy your cards on your opponent's field for every card, just that every card you discard up to 2. Up to two. With a 2500 attack, it's easy to get out. The only problem it is is that it has it needs, it's a tuner, but it needs, it needs water. Was it a new, one or more non-tuner water monster? So you can use Mobius, uh, Mobius, uh, Vionic itself, and Swamp Fourth card is. Gore, Emissary of Darkness. I like this card because e e everyone uses this card. This battle phase and Trigodia. But this card, you can only get a secret. And Ultra, but 
I normally see it in uh, secret and it's so much nicer. When you have no other cards on your field you, and your opponent and you take them victim damage or in victim damage by direct attack or by spell card, by, by inflicting damage by a special effect, you special this card and inflict the same damage to your opponent. If it's a monster, which uh, normally it is the most common effect, you can special summon token with the same attack point as the monster that attacks you up directly. So if the monster attacks you with 2000 attack, special summon this card as well as a token with 2000. Third card is Allied Justice Catastor, an easy level 5 monster to get, get out from the extra deck. This card can run over any monster except for Star's Dragon and Dark Monsters. Well, we can get rid of Star's Dragon, I think, uh, if it's faced out. So this card can run over any card. The only way it can get uh, destroyed would be DP, Mirror Force, Bottomless, Solemn, Judgment, Warning, whatever. But in those uh, circumstances, it's a nice card to have. Second card is Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. I would put Miss Burma a second because this card's come out. I'd rather do this card instead. Trishula wins card and synchro summons. You can remove one one card from your opponent's hand, build, and graveyard. Um, this is really good though because Miss Worm, it doesn't get rid of them. It just puts them back in the hand and they will use them again. Uh, monster is like thinking of cards on the field from the like a uh, Miracles, cards in the hand, um, like Effect Valor, uh, Gauze, Bat Spout Valor, if, if, you're, if you're that lucky, Graveyard, Necro Gardener, uh, Tree Wolf Frog, stuff like that. So, oh, sorry about that. Yeah, so it's a nice card to have, and it's a 27 big sticker. Also, this card needs two non tuner material monsters, so it's quite uh, hard to get out, but it's worth it in the end. The last card, the third, the last card, number one, the top ten secret cards that people use is the Pod Duality. No surprise there, because you can use three of these cards in your deck, as well as your shooter. Pod Duality, you get to search the, the, the three top cards of your deck, and then you can choose one of them, and the rest goes back to the deck, and then the deck is shuffled. This card can give you game. Because this card is fast, very, very fast. That is why it's the top 10 secret for today. Also, I want you to comment on this video, guys, and um, comment on the video and tell me what other top 10 cards I should do for every Friday. I'm going to do it every Friday now. The top 10 cards in Yu Gi Oh! Tell me. And the best one will be uh, used for next week. If uh, people comment on this though, come on guys, we need to comment on this. This is a good. Uh, I want to do this right. You guys, this is the first top ten secrets. I want you to give me some more ideas. So see you later, guys.